Food allergies, which are a side effect of an overactive immune system, are all too common among dogs. Little is known about why dogs develop allergies to certain foods, but most veterinarians are very well trained in identifying symptoms, diagnosing the food allergy, and treating the problem. According to doctors Foster and Smith, food allergies account for about 10% of all canine allergies. However, food allergies are the third most common cause after allergies to flea bites and inhalant allergies. Food allergies do not discriminate. Research has not shown a link between food allergies and breed. They affect both males and females. It doesn't appear to matter whether or not the dog is neutered. Food allergies can show up in puppies or older dogs. However, the allergies most commonly appear when a dog is between the ages of 2 and 6 years old. Common signs of food allergies include sneezing, skin problems, hair loss, hot spots, uncontrollable scratching, yeast infections, chronic or reoccurring ear infections, thick layers of dander, and gastrointestinal upset. It is important to note that food allergies are not the same as food intolerances. Food allergies cause characteristic symptoms of skin problems and itching. Food intolerances can cause vomiting, dehydration, flatulence, or diarrhea and do not affect the skin or ears. Think of canine food intolerance in terms of a person who feels poorly after eating spicy or fried foods that can cause indigestion. Research has proven that some food items are more likely to cause allergies in dogs than other ingredients. In fact, you may be surprised to find that ingredients that are found in commercial dog foods lead the list of foods that can cause canine food allergies. The common ingredients that can cause food allergies include beef, dairy products, chicken, lamb, fish, chicken eggs, corn, wheat, soy, and dairy products. Unfortunately, food allergies do not have their own set of symptoms. Itchy skin that affects the face, feet, ears, forelegs, armpits, and the area around the anus is the most common symptom. In many cases, antibiotics can heal the problem areas, but the skin problems will return once the medication is terminated. One sign that does point to food allergies are reoccurring ear infections, particularly yeast infections. This can be a helpful clue in realizing that your dog has an allergy issue. If allergy symptoms start in the winter, there is a good chance that the dog is allergic to something he or she is eating. In addition, dogs that suffer from itchy skin and do not get relief from steroid treatments are likely to have a food allergy. One of the most frustrating things about food allergies is that they can be very difficult to properly diagnose because the symptoms are the same as other allergies and ailments such as sarcoptic mange, yeast, and bacterial infections and flea bites. If you suspect that your dog has a food allergy, be aware that it will most likely take some time to find the cause. The veterinarian's first task is to rule out other problems that cause allergy-like symptoms. Once all other causes are ruled out, the next step is to do a food trial, where one food at a time will be eliminated. This can be a slow, drawn-out process. A food trial can easily take 12 weeks or longer. The idea is to feed the dog a novel food source of protein and carbohydrates. A novel food source is one that the dog has not eaten before. If you feed a food that contains beef, chicken, and wheat products, you may end up feeding your dog venison and potato or rabbit and rice. The dog's veterinarian may sell some commercial food products or he or she can recommend a source for the novel food items. However, many people choose to make their own food during a food trial. When doing a food trial, dog owners must be vigilant. The dog cannot have anything other than the special food and water. Pet owners must keep the dog at home. If he or she is allowed to roam where they may find garbage or another food source, your food trial is ruined and you are back to square one. If you and your dog are about to embark on a food trial, put the raw hides, pig ears, bones, flavored medications, some heartworm preventative medicines fall into this category, flavored toothbrushes, and flavored plastic toys away. The dog cannot consume any of these during the time you are trying to pinpoint the food that he or she is allergic to. If there is an indoor cat in the house, you may have to block the dog off from accessing it. 
Dogs that don't normally eat out of the cat litter box may decide to do so while they crave treats and the dog food they're used to. When doing a food trial, it is a good idea to keep a journal of everything you feed the dog. In the event the dog did get food that he or she is not supposed to have, it is important to have a record of this to show the vet. If you see any kind of adverse reaction to the food that wasn't part of the food trial, make note of that too. After 12 weeks of a food trial, you will be able to begin feeding your dog other foods, but you can only add one food at a time, so that you can see if the dog reacts to that particular item. Adding foods can be a slow process, but it is the only way you will find out which food is causing the problem. If the food trial indicates that a dog has a food allergy, the ticket to keeping the pet from scratching him or herself raw is avoid feeding the item that is the source of the allergy. For example, the dog begins scratching uncontrollably when you begin feeding beef again. Now you know that your dog cannot have beef. There is no doubt that a food trial is trying for both the pet owner and the dog, but it is well worth the effort. Three months of saying no to Rover's pleading eyes is better than having him scratch and suffer for the rest of his life. If you need more information or coaching in any area of dog and puppy care, from training to advanced tricks to how to care for your dog or puppy, please visit us at perfectpuppycare.com. You can also join our basic coaching program that will teach you how to train your new puppy or dog in various areas so that you can have the perfect puppy.